This is going to be a nice and relaxing week because we are spending it with the flagship sedan from the Korean luxury brand Genesis. We have a G90 this week. Good morning and welcome to the Genesis G90. This one is finished in matte verbier white paint. Senses your approach, wakes up, the door handles pop out. Hello, good morning. So we go ahead and open the door. Look at that interior. Let's step in. And we have a button to close the door. Heated seat, heated steering wheel, and massage. And off to work we go. It's a foggy and rainy night and we're heading home after a long day at the office and a workout. That matte white paint looks pretty awesome. When we approach it, it should wake up. Yep, door handle comes out. We'll give you a quick glimpse at night with the ambient lighting of the cabin. With that, we're gonna head home and we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. So the power doors are really cool, but the opening part can be a little confusing sometimes. The door handles do pop out, but then you pull it once and it it doesn't auto power open. It kind of half latches, it does have a uh, soft close, but so if you pull it, sometimes it opens a little bit like that. Entering the vehicle is definitely the nice part because you can either press this button here and the door will close itself Or if you press the button to exit the door does power out slightly not all the way You see it does about that much then you push it the rest of the way or we can press this button here Close the door or the third way I have the driver door set up push it open and I have it hooked up to the brake pedal so if I put my foot on the brake, the door will also power close. So there are three, four, including manual ways to close the, the door on the driver's side. Even though it's nearly the middle of March, we're hypothetically supposed to get five inches of snow tomorrow. So let's do a walk around of the exterior of the G90 before it gets all snowy. So this is the flagship of the Korean luxury brand, the G90 have it parked here in the driveway. It's finished in a matte white paint. Genesis actually has a lot of different matte paints. They look really cool. Just look at that finish. You can see it really well here on the rear three quarters. Coming around front, this is one big clamshell. The hood is one clamshell to eliminate panel gaps. It's got that two line approach with the DRL headlights, even continuing along here to the side. And then in the back, as we just saw, the taillights also are this two-stepped approach. Let me go ahead and turn the vehicle on so you can see the lighting, because the lighting signature is really cool. So these are flashing indicators on the side. They are light elements. And then coming around up front, you'll see the DRLs are these little squares. And the DRLs actually change from white to orange. And then there's alternating ones when the headlights are also on. That is a really, really cool lighting feature. You have the big crest grille up front, which definitely dominates the front end. So there was a mild refresh of the G90 look going into this generation. It has a very, very unique appearance to it. Stands out for sure. I think people are still learning what the Genesis brand is, because prior to it becoming a thing in 2015, it was a model in the Hyundai lineup. Still a luxurious one, but now Genesis is really making some serious impact. We've got the big 21 inch wheels with a really cool mesh pattern design. We also have like almost rose gold, like light brown cappuccino colored brake calipers, adjustable air suspension at speed it can lower down. The door handles do pop out. And then coming around back, that dual tail light signature, the two lines, Genesis lettering in the middle, G90, and this one is all wheel drive. Sneak peek of the rear seats. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these pillows. We're gonna spend more time back here because we gotta show you the proper tour. Let me press this button, the door will close. You see how the hood does come down a bit to meet the top of the wheel well there. So they mean my clamshell. 3.5 turbo GDI V6 with electric supercharger, the E supercharger model. So this is the top tier. No more five liter V8. It is just this twin turbo V6 top of the line. 
409 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. Mild hybrid. Pretty clean under hood look here. This is like a forged carbon trim with like a metal inlay pattern. Fancy. That Bang & Olufsen sound system is amazing. And again, since I have it connected to the brake pedal, foot on a brake, and the door closes. Hands free. That's a, that's a really cool touch. I think I like that even more than using the buttons. You can also close the passenger door if I open that up. All right. Just press this button here. Why, thank you. It's like having a chauffeur built in. This rotary selector with this like crystal light up pattern is for your transmission selector. Going to reverse, it actually vibrates. That vibrates, turns red. This is for controlling infotainment. Press that for park. All right, we have flown a six foot six Australian all the way over here to Chicago to do a proper passenger test. Shannon, say hi, hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. All right, you are six six, right? You That's make right. me look like I might as well be in kindergarten and we're in the G90. You like this thing? I do, it's okay, yeah. it's bad. Massage seats, but well, we need to check out the rear seat space. So how about you hop out and get in the back and we're gonna move the front passenger seat because we gotta chauffeur you properly. Sure, I'm just gonna open my auto door. Auto door, yeah, yeah. So passenger seat adjustment. So he's learned. And I can slide this seat all the way forward. See? Six foot six. Six foot six, yep, yep. Oh. All right, we're folding the front seat. Okay. There you go. That's nice. Oh wow, this thing goes all the way in. Okay. So you've got plenty of legroom. You don't have that much headroom because your head's kind of hitting the roof. It is. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? Can't get any lower. Does it work? That would be the only thing I would say. You're in though. You're yeah, in. in. Yep. All right. Make sure to turn your massage on and I will chauffeur you to the hotel. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so we're on a freeway and we have some driver assistant system. So we'll set cruise control and it's got lane keep steering. You just have to keep a hand on the wheel. Pressure sensitive there. You see all the lit up green lanes and the highway drive assist is active. So let us do his thing. Raise the speed a little bit. And actually you can see it sense the other cars around you. Blind spot warning, the car just passed. And this actually will do lane changes too. Indicate right, the blind view monitor pulls up. And you see all the arrows and everything, and it's making a lane change. Just have my hand gently on the wheel. Not quite as advanced as something like GM Super Cruise, but still pretty impressive. So you can see on the dash, the vehicle is sensing everything here, and then also on the heads up display, plenty of information. It rides pretty nicely. We have air suspension and it uses the camera to preview the road in front. So roads around here are terrible on the freeway and it can adjust the suspension as necessary. It's been a pretty relaxing and enjoyable week so far with the G90. This thing is a proper flagship. It's quiet, very smooth while isolated. You're relaxed while driving it. Great sound system. It's a 23 speaker, 1700 watt Bay and Olufsen sound system with like 3D surround. There's a speaker in my headrest that plays Oh, the phone's going off. Okay, well, it took me to basically Cheesecake Factory and all So, as I was saying before, I was very rudely interrupted by Alex. This has been a very relaxing week. I've taken some coworkers and friends in the vehicle. The massage seats are obviously great, and the power closed doors are definitely a lot of fun. Heading off to dinner, and we will continue this video later. Did you just push the button? Yeah, you just push the button. There you go. Good job. Look at that. The what welcome sequence? That button? What button? This one. That's the, like, the override. This is the other button right there. No, you, it's already, this is, stop, Eddie, this is not complicated. <laughs> <laughs> the, I told you you could sit in the back seat because that is the chauffeur well, seat. You're being very inconsiderate of your front seat passenger. Can I change the color? Yes. You change the color, we go to, actually, you want to do mute, mood curator first? And the scent. Which one do you care for? Vitality, delight, care, or comfort? Let's see. It's a hot air balloon. Ooh, Ooh. we like the Aurora Borealis. Okay. I'm not comforted yet. Oh, it started. Just relax. Isn't it fantastic? Turn up the volume. I hope this isn't copyrighted music. <laughs> ah, yes. We gotta wait for everything to warm up. Get the steering wheel. So we have this little touch panel here that controls climate and your sense. I have no idea if this is copyrighted music. I really hope it's not. So I have a very unfortunate piece of news to share with everybody. Alex has lost her vision, sight. She thinks the BMW i7, the new 7 series. 
If you have been in the inside of it, it is absolutely. Wait, why is there a fingerprint on there? It's to, you can hook up to your profile. It's like biometric data. <laughs> Awesome. This is the transmission selector. When you put it in reverse, it pulls up the overhead view cameras, your backup camera, and it lowers the rear privacy shade. The nighttime lighting signature on the G90 is definitely pretty cool. Oh, we have a puddle link too. The Genesis logo. So cool. All right, it is late, Friday night. I am tired. We are going to head back inside. Get some work done and call it a night. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't snow, but it might. We'll see. So as you can see, it did snow a little bit, but fortunately it has pretty much all melted and the sun is out. Guess who's extra excited for the Genesis? Because you have had a Hyundai Genesis for how long now? Nine years. Nine years, 190,000 miles on this, and now you get to experience a G90, Elia. This is so gangster. Isn't it cool? Oh, the, the door handle pop out. Yeah. But you have to, yeah, so you have to open it manually all the way. You can close it automatically. See, watch. Boop. Whoa. Whoa, and then the back seats. I'm going to make you drive, and I'm going to get chauffeured in the back. Because this... Holy... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's got forged carbon. Pretty cool. Let's load some camera gear in the trunk. We're going to go film the review of the Hyundai... Or not Hyundai. Of the Genesis G9. Oops. It's not a Hyundai anymore? Nope, not a Hyundai. Well, sort of. Wow. Just every, you don't have to do anything. No. So the rear passenger side of the vehicle is the really comfortable seat. That's where I'm going to ride. This one has the leg rest back here. Move the front seat forward a bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that leg room. And then that's too far to reach. That's too much effort. So we also have a button here. Press that. Rear door latch is shut. Excellent. I think I can also control the passenger seat from here, so yes, please get out of my way, front seat. I need all the legroom. Max it out, max legroom. Look at Exec this matrix thing in there. Wow. Yeah, the details are really nice. That's forged carbon. Wow, now I can't see my mirror. Oh, no, too bad. You have blind view monitor. Oh. Come on, hell yeah. You should know this. Man, this wheel is kind of sick too, huh? I like the two-spoke, and it's heated. Here, turn the car on, and then we'll... Uh, Massage, I am on this side. There we go. We need to turn on heated seats and control the sound system back here. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna recline this seat all the way. Oh look, it Yeah, Dude, this is... <laughs> Like the amount of leg room I have. So I'm 6'3 and I fit back here very comfortably. I'm gonna put the leg rest out, angle the seat all the way. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that leg rest. I feel like I should take my shoes off and just... <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, full luxury recline in the back of the G9. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice way to travel. There's a nice squishy pillow back here. This is literally like a Korean Maybach, a budget Bentley. Here, I'll put it in chauffeur mode. So. Yeah, chauffeur, it softens everything. I think it changes your brake pedal feel. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. Whoa, weird. So now it's... Prioritizing you. Yes, I am the most important a, occupant, yeah, obviously. Yes, you are my driver, sir. The forged carbon back here, too, with the metal inlay, the bang and Olufsen sound system. Turn traction off. No, you're not trying. The storage bin back here. This one, yeah, it like sanitizes with like lights or something magical to like kill things, like bad things. So pass through to the trunk. Oh, there's a wireless phone charger here, too. This is everything. Got a little mirror. Hello. Another speaker up here too, and it's all this brown suede headliner. The interior color combo is polarizing. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's cool. There's other options available too. So the G90 has rear wheel steering, and you can really feel it back here. Like oh the goodness. the vehicle like is, wah, ah, this is so bizarre. Ah, or you're being a bad chauffeur, but you could feel the rear wheel steering. You can feel it up there too. Well, okay. <laughs> Dude, this is so bizarre. Why is it so aggressive? I think it's we're at the speed where it's like right at the transition point where it's going opposite to the same. So maybe it's being weird like that. Whoa. Is it weird back here? It feels extra weird back here. We're like, well, you also drive it like a maniac. I need a new chauffeur, please. So the rear sun shades we can put down from back here. Let's put the other side down too. The root sunshade goes down when you put it in reverse, comes back up for privacy. And then the reason this thing is so quiet, it has active noise cancellation, but also this is double pane glass with acoustic lamination in between. So it keeps it super quiet. That's so awesome. Positioning the vehicle to get some uh, 
exterior shots. I don't want to get out. I'm just going to stay in here, you know. <laughs> Enjoying it, Elia? It's, it's rad. You can add chauffeur to your resume now. <laughs> <laughs> and this touchscreen back here controls so many things. And if you need to put five people, that folds away. And theoretically, you could put somebody in the seat. But Hello. Hey, the Equis used to have a... The what? The Equis. Equis. The old version of this car used to have a <laughs> champagne fridge in the back. What's that? Just a pass-through? No, it's a pass-through. This one doesn't have champagne. What? Genesis really going backwards. Right? Where's the champagne fridge? <laughs> to make it a true Maybach, we'd have a champagne fridge. Yeah. Yeah. This is rad, though. The screen here? Yeah. It takes a second to wake up sometimes. There you go. And then you swiped. And then it has all these controls. It's you can even change the temperature of the interior lights. It's easy to see at night, but this is like the warmest. The you can go to normal, and then this is the coolest. So the temperature of these will change. So it'll go all the way from warm to cool. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, so pun intended. <laughs> pun not intended, but pun intended. Cool. <laughs> oh shit, what? Did you do that? I hit my foot. Oh, foot. Yeah, I have it linked to the, the brake. So for the driver door, when you hit the brakes, it closes the door. Wow. <laughs> so there's like four ways to close the driver door. You can either press the button on the door, you can press the button in the center console, you can hit the brake pedal, or you can use your actual hand, but the last option is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we finished the part where I do my talking. Elia is shooting some B-roll of the interior, all the amazing details on the G90. See that, the UVC, the sanitization back here. So you can like put your phone or Apparently, I guess my wallet is sanitized because I had that in here. Pretty cool. Are you having fun? I am. It's just it's too much. There's too much to show. I know. It's just like, ah. It has been a very nice and relaxing week living with the G90. It's nice to drive. It's nice to be driven in. It's nice to just sit there with the massage seats going. A great place to be. Couple minor complaints. It doesn't have wireless CarPlay, and I'm like, why? It has a wireless phone charger, but if you have your phone plugged in for CarPlay, it's going to be charging and you don't need the wireless phone charger. Little inconvenience, it's a bit annoying, especially on a vehicle of this caliber. I do love the power closing doors, but there have been a couple times where the door handles when you're opening it from the outside that's thrown me off. It's kind of been a little bit weird. So the door handles pop out when the car is unlocked and you just grab it and pull. It's got a good amount of weight and resistance to it, like a heavy door, and then obviously you can close it. But there's also, I think, if you just pull it once, it opens a little bit, but then if you, nope, there you go. So it's supposed to do that where it pops out. So I guess you're supposed to do it twice. No, see, no, what are you doing? What is it supposed to do? That's, it throws me off a bit. Yeah, check out that interior lighting. And you can change it to whatever color you want. They have some preset ones, but it's currently to some custom pink that Alex picked last night. <laughs> Got everything we need, Elia? I think so. Sweet. What if I have enough memory card storage for all the features? <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as the memory card doesn't get full. <gasps> Too soon? All right, let's see the rear wheel steering. So as the front wheels turn, you can see, oh yeah, you can actually see that. That's pretty cool. There you go, yeah, you can see the rear wheels turning slightly. See, now how do I get in? No, because, oh, no. Help. There we go. Bad chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> Making me stand out in the cold. I had to sift through a hundred bins on the door here. <laughs> we were down to 66 miles to empty, so I just put in 15 and a half gallons of gas, showing 389 miles of range. The G90 does request premium fuel. Hello, downtown Chicago. Look who it is. It's free Uber right here. A Mobine. Hi. Dude. Hi. I haven't seen you in so long. Know, been... Welcome to the Genesis G90. This is oh, nicer nice. than your Range Rover. It, it looks nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go get nice. some food. I am starving. Yeah. How do you like the backseat of the G90? Uber. This is great Uber. This is like Uber Extra Black. Bro. Yeah? This is really nice. It is quite nice, isn't it? You got the screen back there, you got the reclining seats. Life of luxury for... I mean, I'm still a peasant compared to you. Oh, shut up. 100k? 100k. 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 Trade an S class for one but, of these? But yeah, that's the thing. But would you trade an S class for this? I don't know. I mean, I'd save 30 grand. Yeah, but you're in a Genesis. This has a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain Sign warranty. Me up. 
<laughs> After your Range Rover experience, you're like, yes, please. Let's take a look at the window sticker. So it's a 2023 G90 3.5T E Supercharger all-wheel drive. That means it is the top tier trim. And these things come really well optioned as standard. Everything here on the left is as standard with this trim level, including all the driver assistance, advanced safety technologies, the powertrain, that 409 horsepower, 405 pound-feet of torque, air suspension, rear wheel steering, 21 inch wheels, the power closed doors, Napa leather, everything, the massage seats, the infotainment, it even has a fingerprint authentication system. And then that five year 60,000 mile new vehicle warranty and a 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So again, everything is as standard being a top tier trim. The only option on this vehicle is the matte white paint for 1500. Base price $98,700 as option $101,295. So just over $100,000. It's honestly a really good deal for what you get with this vehicle. Fuel economy is 17 city, 24 highway, 20 combined. And that wraps up my week living with the Genesis G90. And I am seriously impressed. Such an enjoyable vehicle to drive or be driven in. Tons of luxury and tech features. The attention to detail is great. Honestly, the only thing Genesis has to build up is more brand equity, and that takes time. Once they have that, if they keep building vehicles like this, the GV70, as they electrify their range and add more across the lineup, it's going to be a really, really compelling option when you're shopping for a luxury vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you check out the full review I did with this G90. Thanks for watching.